Okay, this is the Sony ICD SX733. And this little portable, small, compact digital voice recorder has a built in lithium battery uh, with the charge time. Well, you're going to get up to 19 hours off one charge. And um, the way you charge it is through this extendable USB which will plug right into your computer or your cigarette lighter uh, charger in the car or wall charger at home and this is also how you transfer files to your computer the screen comes up showing you the files in which you can easily drag those files onto your desktop or or to the appropriate folder. Okay, I'm going to turn the recorder on in just a moment. I want to uh, make it clear there's four gigabytes of internal um, flash memory built in and if you need more there's a slot for micro SD card on the side here. So here's the on switch. Hold it for a couple seconds it will begin to load. Let's hope it focuses correctly. I'm going to press menu at this time and our very first setting that we see highlighted is the record mode. So we'll select record mode and then we've got five selections. The lowest um, quality recording selection is mp3 format in mono 48 kilobytes per second and if you select that to record in that um, you will get up to 159 hours of recording time on the the four gigabytes of internal flash memory the highest setting would be LPCM at 44.1 kilohertz sample rate 16 bit you're only going to get five hours and 42 seconds approximately recording time on the four gigabyte internal flash memory. So keep in mind LPCM being linear pulse code modulation very very large file a WAV file that's dot WAV and uh, if you're going to just upload to YouTube it's way overkill to, to record and such because YouTube compresses the audio file way way down below in fact it's I believe 44.1 Hertz about a thousand times less so a lot of people are hoping for the video that's going to give them ex some example of what it sounds like but really that's pointless because of the compression that YouTube okay uses. so who's up to see some of the other menu selections um, the second one is built in microphone or you can change that for the external microphone which the input is right here on the side and there's also for the for hearing the playback of, over your headphones okay and what else external input selection um, settings a lot of these I don't really bother with LCF low cut where we're dealing with uh, noise and such add and overwrite protection pre-record which would be for people that want to ensure that they don't lose that first three seconds or so of a recording. It will start recording before it records, however that works. Cross memory, uh, voice activation, okay, sync recording and such. So noise cut, again, effect, easy search, play mode, alarm. It has all these various, uh, it's pretty complex uh, display the LED the backlight you can set I've got it set for one minute or, or you could set it for 20 seconds or always on but uh, that would run your battery low pretty quick if it was always on so I set it for one minute it's got a calendar change folders there's a uh, various different folders. okay next to the menu button is the scene button let's go ahead and press the scene button 
and um, you can select if personal different scenes. Uh, if you want to record music, you'd want to uh, set it this setting. If you're going to interview someone, this would be the setting. Uh, voice notes, if you personal dictation, with su such like that, uh, this would be the setting. If it's a lecture and you've got uh, the speaker in the distance and you've got uh, people sitting about, you want to uh, sort of uh, set the stereo three element array in such a way like this so that it's picking up mostly the speaker and not so much the noise in, in the room. And then next to the scene button is the folder button and you have yeah you have up to five folders okay so let's say I record something I'm gonna press the record button and immediately it begins to record and you see the time and seconds and then minutes and hours and left and right stereo and oh I'm set for mp3 I thought I had uh, put it on the higher but anyway okay so you can see uh, in just a minute when I play it back what it would sound like mp3 48 but keep uh, in mind again that what you hear on YouTube is not what it sounds like in real life okay so we're gonna press the stop button and uh, to play back what I just recorded the file is already highlighted right there immediately and you just press the center button here. And immediately it begins to record and you see the time in seconds and then minutes and hours in left and right stereo and oh I'm set for mp3 I thought I had uh, put it on the higher but anyway okay so you can see uh, in just a minute when I play it back what it would sound like mp3 for you keep uh, in mind again that what you hear on YouTube is not what it sounds like in real life okay so we're gonna press okay and if we wanted to erase what we've just recorded there's a erase button on the side and immediately it starts to play the file and if you really want, if you're really serious about racing, you will select hours. execute and it erases it. It's gone forever. Okay. So let's go to menu, uh, record mode, and uh, I mistakenly left it in the lowest uh, quality. So let's, let's do it the highest quality, the linear pulse code modulation setting. And then begin to record and um, I don't think you're going to see a noticeable difference really when I play it back here in just a minute and remember we're playing it back through this little mini speaker which can only play back in mono because there's just one speaker but you could hear it in stereo through the headphone stereo headphone jack here or when you transfer the file to the computer and then play it back through your Windows Media player or what have you so okay so let's press stop and what you're about to hear through this little speaker is the linear pulse code modulation recording I just recorded so. and um, I don't think you're going to see a noticeable difference really when I play it back here in just a minute and remember we're playing it back through this little mini speaker which can only play back in mono because there's just one speaker. But you could hear it in stereo through the headphone, stereo headphone jack here. Or when you transfer the file to the computer and then play it back through your Windows Media player or what have you. So, okay, so let's press start. File end. Okay, so we're going to erase. We're going to press the erase button. And, um, I don't think execute to erase Gone. so keep in mind you heard some noises because what I was doing was moving the recorder around as it was recording 
and of course that's going to that's one of the uh, the bad things about these portable recorders this and that. Of course you have them in hand as you're recording and any little hand movement can cause uh, some unwanted noise and stuff such. So what else can I tell you? Um, you see the plug-in power? You can charge the battery here or external power I believe through the record but I've never done that and I don't know if I ever want to I always charge it through the extractable USB just plug it into the computer well it will begin to charge um, what else so overall I'm pretty pleased with this product my uh, the quality and such uh, the reliability over the last few months anyway I'm my concern is the, the built-in lithium battery because there's conflicting information about how long they last. You know, before you'd have to send this in to have them, you know, replace it. There's no way to get in there to replace the lithium battery yourself. And so maybe it lasts a year, maybe it lasts 15 years. I have no idea. But if, it, if it's going to last 15 years, that's great because that's, you know, a lot of savings not having to buy little AAA batteries and such and what else very reliable little digital voice recorder by Sony the ICD SX 733 and uh, I'll leave you with that